Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to Satisfactory. We're in the home stretch. We have one more component to make to complete phase five and I believe to complete the game. And that is what we're going to do today. So let's get stuck in. Well, the first thing we need to do is finish that milestone. And to do that, we need superposition oscillators and launch. There we go. Milestone reached. Instant travel between chosen locations will be possible as soon as the main and satellite portals are built and paired. Do not ask me how it works. Not because I don't understand dimensional dispersal theory and the cross-warp applications of liminal peer-regulated parallel fibrillator nanocells, for example. But because you do not need to know. You go in one end, you come out the other. It's a door. Thankfully the construction of project part number 12, the ballistic warp drive, can be automated and requires no manual input from you, so I'd say we're relatively safe. If you disagree about my assessment of your capabilities, you are free to attempt a study and replication of either portal or warp technology. After you're done with project assembly. Well, I would think after getting that far, I'd get a bit of respect from Ada, but yeah, nope, that's not happening. All right, so uh, we have... All right, so better check the recipe, right? Uh, what are they called? Ballistic warp drive. That's the one. Now, nah, that is made in a manufacturer. Ah, interesting. And for that, we need a thermal propulsion rocket, five singularity cells, two superposition oscillators, and 40 dark matter crystals. And it's done in a manufacturer. Well, that I wasn't expecting. So let's pop a manufacturer down and see how we're going to do this. Just because it's okay, I'm going to hold it over there. Okay, we got the inputs over here. Yeah, I think that's fine. Build it. Uh, ballistic warp drive, that's what we're making. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we are making most of what we need already. So the only thing that we aren't doing is the singularity cell. So let's have a look at that. And that is this one. And that's also made in a manufacturer. It uses 100 iron plates, 200 concrete, 20 dark matter crystals, and one nuclear pasta, all of which I'm making. Well, that's very nice. So let's do the singularity cells first. And I do believe I have a spot for it. So we'll get a manufacturer down over here. And we're building the singularity cell. So nuclear pasta right here. Iron plates, concrete. Iron plates. All right. Well, I set up a concrete plant for this. It is already operational. I just need to connect it through to there. We'll do that. And we'll come through underneath. Belt that through to, uh, to there. And I think I'm just going to come. All right. Let's see where I'm going to come out. Okay stairs are in the way i'm going to have to loop around and come out over here or maybe i can just loop around the staircase and go through to there and then come out of the ground over here all right let's move these that's i think that's the right level for it let's reverse that and that is the concrete okay so the concrete is here and now we need to get some iron plates and we need a hundred iron plates and I don't think I'm making extra anywhere, so we'll do a little facility. So let's do the smelters coming in from the left. And then we'll do that. So they're coming in from this side. I'll give them a bit of space. That looks good. Okay, these are constructors. Wrong one. Darn it. Smelters from the left. Yep, they look good. So I'll build those. I'm going to need to extend this platform out a little bit. I may have a bit of a space problem over here. Now we can have the constructors. Yeah, it's going to be tight. And just move that into position. It is tight, but it works. Okay, so four. Now I could put an extra smelter and constructor in, but where's the fun in that? So I'm going to set all of these to iron ingots. And well, how many did I need? It was about 100, right? It was indeed 100. That means I would need 150 ingots. This is going to produce 120. So I'm going to set this one to... I'm going to set this one to 200. So the first one's making 60. The next three are each making 90. That's 150. And then they will come out. Good. I'm going to need to tee off a belt. This one. 
I hope I'm going to have enough on that belt. Let's bring that down, plug it in. May as well upgrade some lines a little bit. Then this one's going to come out of here and go in there. All right, good. And then 100 iron plates are going to come out of here if I set one of these to 200%. So that one's going to do 40. Okay, all right. So 20, 20, 20 is 60 plus 40 is 100. Perfect. Now I need to get that to there. No, I need to get it somewhere else. Oh, heck. Uh, up there. All right, that's going to be an interesting thing. I think I might be able to do this. So if I bring it up over here, I'll put the lift on it. This is an output lift. So we'll change the direction, put it in. We're coming under here, and this is not in the way of anything, but it can, it is within reach of that facility. How are we going to do this? Maybe just come in and lift over those belts. All right, so I'm going to try it there and see if that works out. Because then we'll just bring it up onto the ceiling. Fire a belt over here. That will be... Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. Turn it that way. Bring a belt out. And uh, I might have to jig it a bit so it doesn't clip. And that goes through to there. And this comes in... And it's just off the middle line. Did I get it right? Right, perfect. Oh, that's great. Now I just have to plug everything in. So we'll bring a pole through to here, cable to there, cable into here, and plug into there. And that should all start working. All right, good. Plates are going up. And soon we'll have plates over here. Looks like that bag of concrete is shy. Every time I get close, it disappears. All right, what else do we need? Dark matter cells. Well, nuclear pasta is right here, so... It's just the dark matter cells that I got to bring over from this area. And we're going to have a quick relook at those because after the last episode, or I can't remember if it was in the last episode, I, I slooped this up and that increased the dark matter residue output by 50, which caused a, a problem because now I was overproducing that byproduct and I was sending it into a system that was balanced. So that system wasn't balanced anymore. The problem is I couldn't just reduce this to a negative number, so I put it at zero. And to get rid of the excess, I basically just put it in here by increasing the output of the dark matter crystals. So I have extra dark matter crystals, but I don't think I've got that many because we need 20. This system plus the overflow, well, let's see what the system is using. Try and remind myself. 12 over here. Uh, well, actually, it looks like it's just using 12. Yep, that is the only place that the dark matter crystals are going, other than to a sink over there. All right, so I need to increase this to at least 32, which might require two of these. So we'll take that up to 32. But now that needs 320 dark matter residue. My system currently 25 plus 25 is 50. My system currently produces 150. 25 in each of these machines and 100 in this. So 150, which means, gosh, it's loud. I'm 170 dark matter residue short. This is only producing 150, even overclocked. I don't know why it was overclocked. So we'll take it up to 170, 170, and then we'll open this valve fully and let all of that into the system. Now, for now, those uh, dark matter crystals are going to just head out straight to the to the sink. But once we've connected a belt. We are producing 32, but look at how much power it's using. Now imagine if I put sloops in there, that would be over 10,000 megawatts just for that one machine. Crazy. Speaking of which, how's our power doing? Yeah, 27 max, 28. Yeah, it's all right. We're doing good. So basically what I need to do is I need to come off this. And this is a smart splitter, so I'm going to configure this to, to any so that these two split and then that's the overflow. So let's grab a belt. I need to go over that way and dodge a whole bunch of pipes and conveyors. And we can come down on that center line should be fine. And I think uh, I'll just drop it straight to the floor from here. So that can go straight on the floor. And then we'll bring this. I am in the right place. Yes, I am. Yeah, you know, I could hide these under the floor, but honestly, they're pretty good looking little models so why not 
And then, uh, yeah, we'll set this, the singularity cell. We just need the nuclear pasta, which is in here. Oh, we have quite a bit of it. Just like that. Grab a bit of power. And that is it. All right, we'll need an output. So, uh, since this is going that way, I will put a container right in here. So, a storage container. Maybe I should just put a big one. Yeah, I think these have other uses as well. So, we'll just plug that into there. This is... Where, where am I? Oh, yeah, of course. Clever. I'll plug those two in, and then it should start working. Where are my iron plates? Why are they not coming up? What did I forget to connect? Oh, yeah, the last belt. Man, I didn't even have a conveyor lift in here. There we go. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. I'm a little tired. I think my mind is losing itself. Okay, there's everything coming in. Perfect. I need 100 per minute. I need 200 per minute there. I'm using Mark III belts, so that should be fine. And this is going to push out 10 at a time. So 10 per minute, and they're all 10 are going to come out at the same time. All right, I think I found a way to weave everything through. It's pretty tight, but uh, it's going through. And that is the wrong way around. That'll work. And that is in now. So, uh, we have singularity cells. Oh, wow, what did I do there? I made a little hash up. Uh, I'll have to fix that later. There they are. Uh, they're also shy. All right, we have singularity cells. And if we hop up here, we can see what they look like. Those look pretty sweet. All right, next item. Uh, the dark matter crystals. Do I need more dark matter crystals? No, wrong one. So the next item, we have the singularity cells. Thermal propulsion rocket. I think I'm making those over here. Oh, that's easy. There you go. Thermal propulsion rockets going in. Next item. Super position oscillator. Damn, I need more dark matter crystals here. Wait, hang on. All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do another setup to make dark matter crystals specifically for this machine. Super position oscillators. Now I uh, shorted this one, so it's doing four, which means that I have uh, two available. So let's bring a bring a conveyor lift up here and run a belt down this way. Let's see, where can we put it? That looks decent. Yeah, that looks alright. And pop that in there. Good. At least there's sort of a little bit of some symmetry. And now I've got everything on the wrong side because, okay, first of all, let's get that in. So that's three items actually in the machine. Almost. That means the last thing is the dark matter crystals. So that kind of setup, it means I'm going to need another particle accelerator over here and i'll have it come out on this side so that the output is close to where it needs to be uh huh i will just move it over make it look cozy-ish right and this is going to make dark matter crystals this way the dark matter residue oops where did i get dark matter residue from oh my gosh i need more reanimated sam well that's a bit of a problem well not really actually Am I not bringing some reanimated salmon by train that I'm actually not really even using? It's not on that train. I've got a whole container of it down here. Well, that's not too bad. I'm not sure where it's going, to be honest. Let's investigate. It's heading out over this way. It's coming up over there and going into this machine. And we are using 60 per minute. I'm pretty sure I have quite an operation out on the other side. So I think I can tap into this container after I've closed the floor up. And I'm going to need to head over that way somewhere. So if I put this up and I'll have it come onto this level and then go up again. Once I know exactly where I'm going with it. Because it can come straight through there. Unless it doesn't need to go all the way through there. No, it actually needs to come up fairly close to where it is. All right, that is just off center there. So we'll put a hole there. And then it is this one. We can put a hole there. Let's see where that is. I can't see where it is. So it's, yep, it's directly under this machine. Um, no problem. We'll put it over here. And then it comes up into there. And that is uh, not terribly far away. We can just belt it like that into this machine uh what have i done with the i haven't actually put this in the right position yet have i no not really but anyway we we have the belt it is right there 
No, I can always come back later and sort it out. So this one is going to come in over here. It's going to go out over there. So we can put that around about there. Oh, it's a little, little too cozy. Yeah, that's better. So the belt will come in here. It will put the stuff in. This will make dark matter residue from reanimated Sam. And how much do I need? If this is going to be making 40. Oh my word. That's a lot. How many thermal propulsion rockets am I making per minute? One. Damn. I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to find myself some more reanimated Sam somewhere. I think I need to go and visit that facility on the other side. Because I am definitely not going to be making enough. I need 40. This makes 20. Now I could shard this. But then I need a lot more. I might have to go and pick up my crystals. My sloops. To shard this so that I don't need more. Because right now it would need 400 to make 40. I'm not even sure if my facility up here is going to be enough for this lot. Yeah, it's probably not. Luckily, those biosculptor things have already been made, so I don't have to worry too much about that. But I am going to have to, I'm going to have to upgrade. Anyway, we can get the setup in the meantime and then do the upgrade later. I'm just going to change how this is laid out, and I'm going to use Mark Fives because I feel like I feel like that is going to be necessary. Okay, so that goes in there. Right now, I don't have a lot to spare, but I will make more. Even if I have to underclock that and then shard it up so that I'm using less. Bring that down like that. I'll take this one up to there. And I can remove that because I don't need it anymore. I'll take that and place it. And belt that. Oh, oh. Hold on. There we go. Damn, it was out of alignment. And then just plug that into there and that works now that's not going to give me everything that i need but it'll at least get it started and it's already at the top so let me power this up that one is going to get going then this one is going to be making the dark matter crystals that will i think i'm going to lift this send it out and we'll do the same with this one and then that belt can go into there i do have a lot of reanimated sam in the box at the train station and probably at the train station on the other side as well so this will work for quite a while it'll give me time to go and sort out the mine over on that end so this is working i need to connect this in with a pipe bring that over to there and plug that in and i think that's the only input that it needs okay so that is that setup and uh, then i just have to grab some power and plug this manufacturer in and with that, we should start seeing some action. Um, are we getting the juice out? Yes, we are. It's coming in here. These are being made. No, they're not because I haven't plugged it in. So these will get made now. And then I can put a box down. And it's just going to be a small one. I'll whack it over here and put a belt in. If I had it the right way around. So we'll put a box in right here whack a belt in like that and with any luck okay we're still working on the dark matter crystal that is going to be a bit slow but there you go we're starting to make ballistic warp drives and there we go there's our first one on the belt very nice ballistic warp drive but that also means that by now we probably should be ready to grab the ai server expansion servers not nope, the wrong one that's the one i'm looking for oh yeah we got plenty so we need 256 and we can head over to the space elevator with them and load them up. Oh, just one more to do. Just one more. We are 200 ballistic warp drives away from completing the game. And we're going to do that in this episode. I'm going to let some time pass. I've got some things to fix up. Actually, before we do that, there is something else that I can do. Because we have other milestones. I'm not going to bother with the Mark III blueprint. Although I could probably... No, no, I couldn't. Not yet. Um, but peak efficiency, conveyor belt mark six and fixonium, fixonium fuel rods. Yeah, that's cool. We'll get there. But conveyor belt mark six, I'm quite keen on, but the requirements are heavy. 5,000 L clad sheets, 10,000 iron plates, pretty rough. But we're going to select that milestone because slowly, slowly over time, because I looked ahead, I've been stashing things and I have stuff. So let's just sort that and we'll grab everything out and 
I don't know if I need these ones. I can't remember how many I had. And we'll grab some of the iron plates because I've got a lot of those as well. And we'll start charging that milestone up. All right, that's 5,000 l clad sheets done. We're not quite there with the iron plates, but I've got some, I've got the time crystal sorted out and the fixed trigons. Okay, so just the rest of the iron. Okay, iron plates. There we go. Look at that. Peak efficiency. Come on, Ada. Say something nice. Milestone reached. After close scrutiny, two problems were identified in Mark V conveyor belts. The first was the belt part, so force fields have been implemented in the Mark VI instead to maximize transfer speeds. The second problem is inefficient pioneers, but sadly no remedy is available for this severe impediment. Yet. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay, now the main reason I want to build these is I don't need them. I do want to see how fast they are. And I do like to use conveyor belts for travel because they do speed up your jetpack. Oh, it does look nice. Look at that. It's just like a it's like a sheet of light that transports stuff. So, jetpack on. Let's see how far this will take us. Oh, that's fast. I don't know, it doesn't feel as fast as I thought it would be. Maybe I forgot to crouch or something. Let's try it over here. All right, let me make sure that I do the crouch jump this time. Yeah, I don't know. It's nice. I mean, it's going to take me all the way there very, very easily. But it doesn't feel as fast as I was expecting. It's like not crazy fast at all. Uh, anyway, we're back. So that is done. Peak efficiency completed. So now I need to let some time pass so that those ballistic warp drives can build up. And I'll just fiddle around and go and do some exploring and get a few hard drives sorted out. And I'll be right back. And I'm back. It's four hours later, so let's go and see if we have enough ballistic warp drives to... Well, we... I think, yes, we do. We do. Good. So we'll grab all of those and let's head down. Exciting moment, folks. We're about to end the game, I think. And with that, it is complete. Maybe we'll just stick around here to see what goes on. Unsurprisingly, here's another presentation, but don't <laughs> worry, I have improved it. This last delivery will be the most important action you have ever taken. Perhaps you want to take a moment to contemplate the gravity of your achievements. Moment All taken. Right, that's enough. This is the end of the Save the Day program. All you need to do is wait for the automated phase 5 construction to complete. Simply throw the lever and further instructions will be supplied when relevant. Okay, well here we go. I think I'm going to get a nice spot to watch it from. Off we go. Phase 5 completed. Return to the space elevator after the resources have been processed and added to project assembly. Launch can then be initiated from there. While waiting, please do not break anything. Solve any issues immediately and efficiently. Ensure your power network is stable. Perhaps it is best if you do not touch anything at all. And stay close to the space elevator. This will only take a moment. Okay, good. Is that it? No, oh, okay, so I have to go back there again. Ah, I see. Okay, so I have to follow instructions. Check oil. Done. Set fuel injectors to level 5. Fuel injector, level 5. Done. Activate bus B1. Set left stabilizer to 9. Done. Right stabilizer to 4. Turn gyroscopic balancer X on. Y on. Z on. 
finalizing preparations. Does that mean I leave? No, I don't want to miss this. Nope, I think I was supposed to stay there. Oh, of course. Launch. Okay, now I can go up. Oh, something cool's happening. Initiating project assembly. Assembly. Attaching cargo to main body. Oh, this is pretty epic. Leveling inner and outer rings. Attaching propulsion to main body. Fuel lines connected. Attaching control center to main body. Running systems check. All systems online. Releasing propulsion cage. Releasing clamps. Running pre-launch checks and calculating flight path. Locking in cargo. Launch in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, <laughs> Oh, nice. Don't mind me, I'm taking some photos. was pretty cool so what now right what's going on connection with qar 437 nucleus established and stable Dispersion initiated, re-instancing Master Nucleus to QAR-436 Akicha, B1. Hello, this is Ada, your new local instance of Ada. On behalf of Ada, myself, and all of Fixit, I want to congratulate you on saving the day. Every single kitten and puppy would thank you if they could. You have proven yourself to be a worthwhile and productive member of the human race, and have contributed something to this universe that will forever change it. 
Thanks to your achievements, the next generation of pioneers can now take to the stars and construct, automate, explore and exploit, alongside me. Additionally, you have been promoted to local production manager, effective immediately. Your duties to project assembly may be complete, but your duties to fix it remain. With your help, fix it continues to make the universe a better place. Stay efficient. Stay with fix it. Oh, nice. And that appears to be it. I'm going to roll some credits. But uh, you definitely can't just end it there. That auto save in progress thing is a bit of a pain in the butt. I haven't checked my tickets for a while, so how many do I have? Oh, that's nice. Good thing I have a lot because there's something I want to do with them. Something I absolutely deserve. My employee of the month mug is mine. You are now the proud owner of the employee of the planet cup, only available to fix it pioneers who saved the day. This cup was created after extensive research produced a substance that has the appearance of gold without actually being gold. It is almost certainly non-toxic. Note, you have been automatically enrolled in the not gold toxicity testing program. The <laughs> paint awesome. may be flammable. Please inform us if, when using this cup, you experience discomfort, poisoning, spontaneous combustion, or death. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, folks, that is that. Uh, I'm going to continue because there's still nuclear that I haven't even looked at. Uh, it took me 152 hours to finish this. Definitely not a speed run. And let's go and see how much power I actually ended up using. I did sloop a few things, so there's that. Oh, where do I find a power pole when I need one? Right, power usage, 35, yep, 35,000 megawatts or 35 gigawatts for the whole game. Didn't even need to look at nuclear. One plant, can't remember how much oil it's using, less than 600. So that is what is possible. And as the credits roll, I say thank you so much for joining me in this series. It's been fun. If you've liked this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. I will be moving on to more how-to videos and blueprint videos and stuff like that for Satisfactory. But at least the playthrough is done and I've uh, achieved pretty much what I want to. I still have some outstanding researchers to deal with, but I really do appreciate all the support. And until next time, cheers.